Or we could start early where you're here and they haven't connected their hands yet, which is ideal. If they're on my back, my first thing is don't let them touch their hands together. Don't let them choke you, <laughs> number one. Number two, don't let them connect their hands together, okay? So we could start anywhere, but the reason I start with a harness is because your escape is 90% feet. It's your connection to the ground and how you learn to transfer your body weight. If you guys don't do that right, I can show you everything you need to do with your head and with your hands and everything else, but somebody that's got a decent back control is just gonna move you back to the other side and they're gonna choke you. If they can move you from side to side, they can finish you because they can switch hands and you're, you're gonna get choked. So everything really is, is about this body movement. And the trickiest part, I mean, pushing yourself to the side and putting up a, a kickstand isn't that difficult. Where people lose it is on the reverse shrimp. Okay, their, their feet will come off the mat or you get light, okay? And that reverse shrimp is heavy as I pull, okay? So we're just gonna work a reverse shrimp. And there's only about 12 movements in all of jujitsu, 12 physical movements, the reverse shrimp is one. And I'm gonna put it together with a regular shrimp, right? So when we do a regular shrimp, we're laying on our back, I'm gonna step out with my left foot, everything begins with that step, and I'm gonna push off my heel. For the same reason that when I squat, I have my heel flat, I don't squat on my toes. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Now I wanna move my hip back, I want as little friction with the mat as possible, so before I shrimp, I shift my weight into my left shoulder and raise my hip and back off the mat, just a little bit. I'm imagining there's heavy weight on me, right? I just wanna get a little bit, and that makes it easier for me now to move my hips back. Now we're in that shrimp, okay? Now I'm gonna to go to my hands and knees, I'm gonna thread the needle, so my right foot's gonna come under my left, and I'm belly down. Now from belly down, I'm gonna to go to an iron pillow. I'm gonna left, let rest my head on my arm, and I'm gonna bring my right leg up high. And now from here, we're gonna do a reverse shrimp. So I'm gonna push, well pull really, from my right foot, staying heavy, and bring my, thread the needle again, and now I'm back here to my back, okay? So we do a shrimp and a reverse shrimp. So again, transfer my weight, shrimp back, Belly down, I could go either way. Foot here, back to reverse shrimp. That little motion, both those motions there, shrimp and reverse shrimp, make up probably half of what you do in jujitsu, especially when we escape. Okay, good. Now, second part. <clears throat> you guys have the body motion down and the weight down. I'm gonna get on your back. Head position, okay? Just remember, you wanna to turn towards the arm that's choking you and you wanna get that ear up against the chest. Exactly, he can't, I can't choke him there. And if I'm here, he can still do it if he drives the back of his head through my face. I'm just gonna move my head, but you guys can test that if you want. So I'm gonna do it a couple times slow and then try and fake him a little bit. Right, good, okay? So that's the precursor. If they don't have their hands connected, if they're not in the harness already, you're gonna see an arm come over. That tells you immediately which way you wanna go and you wanna lead with the head. Now everything else with your feet is the same. So though he's leading with his head now, and that's in reality when you do this motion against the opponent, that your head's gonna probably move first, but your feet need to come with you. So as he does it, he brings his feet up. And everything else same now, it's a reverse shrimp. Good, and you can step out like that. You don't need to step out, go back. You can, because you may not be able to step out. So now just move this foot over here a little bit and now reverse shrimp from there. Look what happens to my leg. leg. It cleared, it'll clear right off as long as you're heavy. Okay, so from the back, practice that. Head motion, look, look back and up and put your weight in the back of your head and look towards the arm that's choking you always, okay? Try it back and forth on your own. The best ways to do this, if, um, okay. You go here and you start to drive with your head. Get by here and you stop. And look at Liam's head. Maybe his feet aren't extended or not closed, right? He doesn't have a lot of leverage here. There's not a lot of weight here. There's not, uh, he's not that heavy, okay? There's a good chance I might be able to bring him the other way. Now go back. Now, same thing, but I want his feet to come close to his butt so he has more leverage. And now from here, push your whole body this way, lean your head to the mat, right? Once he gets here, there's nothing I'm gonna do on his back. All I've got here is a mouth, right? So once you feel yourself going this way now, once you feel yourself going here, yeah, 
Now push yourself up a little bit. Yes, there. And now everything's a little solid. You guys can go ahead and stand up. The uh, counter standing is the same. So I see that arm coming from behind me to choke me, right? Which way do I want to go? I always want to look this way. Okay, so as that hand's coming around, I move my hip and re-pummel with my underhook. Okay, so I'm on Liam's back. Yes, and just like back control, when I have harness and hooks, he can go both ways and it may work, but it's way more dangerous to go the wrong way. So if I go here and he starts to go that way, what'll happen is I can still maybe catch him in what's called a bulldog choke here, okay? And that, things like that can happen on the ground as well. When he goes the correct way, freeze this for a sec, I've got nothing here. If there's no choke, my hand's not around the arm, there's nothing for me to bite on, and he's got a good body lock. So sometimes if they're close like this, you may have to bump your hip forward a little bit and you're gonna swing your arm. So, yes, so go back. So as you see that arm come around you, you gotta make space for it, good. And then right back into an underhook, okay? You guys can try it standing a couple times. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're gonna see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.